I want to show you some quick date functions. They are very useful. So a couple of things I just want to show you is one, if I want to put in today's date, so I'm just going to type that in there. I'm just going to make that bigger. I could hold down the control key and press the semicolon and it automatically inserts today's date. That won't change. If I want to though, I can get it to update every time I open up Excel so that tomorrow it has a different date in there. And to do that, I need to use a function. So I'm going to click on my insert function here. And you will see, if I click on this drop down list, I have date and time functions. I can scroll down this list. The function is known as today. So if I click on it, you'll see it returns a current date formatted as a date. So if I click on OK, it will pop that in there. It says it's volatile, which means that the system is going to give it the information. And I click on OK and you'll see it's automatically popped that in there for me. You'll see it's a function, so unlike when I did the control and semicolon, this will change each time. So just in case you're wondering, in Excel 2010 and also in 2007, if I do today's date here as well, it doesn't matter what I write here, that's not the important bit. And if I'm on my formulas tab, I can go to date and time, and you'll see it's down that list, and it says today. If I wanted the insert function to search for it, that is here and it's exactly the same as using it then in Excel 2003. So if I click on today, it pops it in. It says it's volatile, it doesn't give you any options at all. Click on OK and it's popped it in there. Just so you can see, it, I'm gonna do control and semicolon and it pops it in there as well. So it works in both of them. Okay, so it doesn't matter how you actually put in the date here. I could actually find out what month it's in, what day, or even what year. So I'm just going to type in day, month, and year. I'm in 2010 at the moment, so I'm just going to copy that over to Excel 2003 and quickly do this first in Excel 2003. So if I click on insert function, you'll see I'm still on my date and time ones here. So in that category list, there's one called day. It says it's a serial number, returns the day of the month, a number from 1 to 31. If I click on OK, and if I click here, regardless of whether I typed it in, used control and semicolon, or used the today function, it will come back with 28. It says a serial number. The reason why it's thinking it's a serial number is you'll see it's got this number here. That indicates 40,540 days from the 1st of January 1900. That's how it works out dates, by taking a specific date and knowing how many days it works from. I'm going to click on OK. I could now do the same again for my month. So you might be doing a sort and or a filter and need to know things in a particular month or sort by month. So this could be quite useful. Click on OK again. Click here. It's got 12. And I could do the same again. You're going to guess which function it is. It's going to be the year function down here. And once again, I click on it. And OK, and it's putting in 2010 there. Quickly going to my Excel 2010. If I go here, exactly the same thing happens. There's my date and time list. Click on it. Choose day. And you'll see I can do exactly the same thing. If I click on month, I can get the month, and same again, the year. And these could all be things in a column. So I could have a whole list of them, just like any other formula. So that is inserting today's date, putting in dates automatically, and also being able to get the day, month, and years extracted from that date.